Six, the fugitive wanted in that massive manhunt in Berkeley County is once again on the run. Could he return to the low country? We speak to the Berkeley County Sheriff and the couple who turned in Michael Burham. Plus, filing officially opened for the District 42 Senate seat. Hear more about the men applying for the position. News 4 at 6 starts right now. He's going to come back here for revenge. He's going to do this. He's going to, I'm not worried about it because it'll be a different story coming back this time. Another manhunt for Michael Burham. Good evening. I'm Katie Solt. First at six. He escaped from a jail in Pennsylvania last night, just a month and a half after he was captured in Berkeley County. Conley Grayson joins us live now. And Conley, you actually spoke with the couple from UG who helped put an end to the day's long search here. What did they say about Burham's escape? On May 24th, Anthony Phillips and his wife found Michael Burham hiding out behind a shed on their property. They find out about his latest escape this morning, but Anthony tells me he's not scared. Our Facebook, you hear about everything on Facebook. Anthony Phillips woke up to the news he and his wife never wanted to hear. Well, you gotta be kidding me, but first person I texted was my mama and I was like, hey mama, <laughs> you're not gonna believe this. The fugitive he once helped catch was back on the loose. That guy is relentless. I tell you what, he, he don't give up, does he? Here is the jail. Mm -hmm. He tied together bed sheets and roped down the building. Oh my God. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Phillips walked us through when he saw Burham hiding on his property. His shoes were right here. That's where his shoes were at. He was, he was about right here, and I seen his shorts that said and one on them. He was wrapped up with that right there. He took off running. You can still see the tree limbs where they broke from whenever he took off running through there. He says if Burham comes back, it'll be a different story. No, uh -uh. you get from one house, you're going to go to another one, and that person in that house might be more well off than this person as far as ammunition and everything like that goes. They're going to put you down whether it gets put down over here, there, it's Berkeley County. Berkeley County Sheriff's Office and Charleston County Sheriff's Office said they are aware of Burham's escape. They say they have no information indicating he would return to the low country. We would, you know, respond with uh, all available personnel and then seek uh, assistance from surrounding agencies like we did as well as you know sled and the fbi and, and our partners here in the low country as for the phillips anthony says they have a plan too they apprehended him and took him all the way up north i mean he should have just left us down south <laughs> i should have done what i should have done i should have pulled something on him and maybe we wouldn't be dealing with this now, back in May, there was a $10,000 reward offered by the FBI for Burham's whereabouts. The couple told me they still have not received that money for finding Burham. Working for you, Conley Grayson, News 4. Thank you, Conley. Burham is facing charges in New York for murder. The Chattaqua County District Attorney explained why Burham was being held in Pennsylvania. Remember, he is accused of kidnapping an elderly couple in PA, and he drove their car all the way to the low country. It hasn't changed what's happening here. So here in Chautauqua County, uh, we've been developing the case that occurred back in May. Uh, th there was a number of uh, different forms of evidence that were collected at the crime scenes. Uh, they were out for testing. Chautauqua County, as you probably know, is a rural community. We don't have our own crime lab. We rely upon state, federal, and even the crime lab in Erie County, which has been very good to us to do testing of all the scientific evidence that's been collected. We're waiting for those laboratory results to come back so that we can go forward with our charges.